Hey everybody, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I'm going to do a quick uh, three or four minute preview of the books that we have in the auction on Tuesday, May 22nd. This is the uncatalogued portion. This will sell before the catalog portion sells. I'll uh, do a quick uh, walkthrough of the catalog after I do this portion of the walkthrough. So you can see the overview. There's a good, uh, you know, eight or ten tables full of uncatalogued books. These books sell without being online. They're sold to the highest bidder that are here. And there's some great stuff in here. So uh, let's dive a little bit deeper. Um, if you're interested, the auction for this portion of the sale begins at 6 p.m. Uh, a little bit later on after this, this, uh, the, these books sell, we'll sell the books in the catalog. So uh, let's start over here. And in no particular order, I'm not sure how we're gonna sell these the night of the sale. But uh, let's start. We have some nice uh, leather bounds from 1848, 1850. The uh, Chambers Journals. You have a lot of good illustrated books here from Jesse Wilcox to Wyeth to um, The Last of the Mohicans and Homer. There's fairy tales. There's an earlier copy of Gone with the Wind. Uh, some good uh, you know, novels, etc. Then they have some portfolios down here. This one's very neat. Uh, mythology portfolio with... Uh, as you can see, the, all the, the uh, kind of setup scenes in their mythology. Then, uh, you know, the books run from leather bound to paperbacks to magazines. And I'm just going to kind of zoom through here, see what we got. Now, this book right here is um, signed Adolf. I'm not sure which Adolf, but uh, it says Adolf there in the, in the middle. But uh, it's a German book. You make the call, I'm not sure. Moving this way, uh, all these Pulp Fiction paperbacks. You have books on art. You have... Uh, sets of books. Here's a Victor Hugo in a nice little kind of leather style bound. Uh, here's books right here. Uh, Smithsonian books. Uh, I'm not digging too deeply, but as you can see, there's some good leather bound ones in here. Uh, nice uh, quarter bound there. Uh, the story of Kenneth. So there's some local interest books. The Aural Atlas. Um, magazines. Magazines about art. Review magazines. Old celebrity magazines. Uh, around the other side, there's some very cool Rolling Stones from the 70s. Uh, look at this big collection of maps. So there's a big like gas station map collection right here and uh, Metropolitan Camden, etc. There's old trails and roads in, Pens in Penn's Land. Um, lots of good books. I'm not going to spend time looking at every single one of them. You have children's books, all these little golden books here, Hardy Boys. Um, they've been kind of organized by genre. Uh, I'm almost all the way around this table. As you can see, here's the boxed and cased books. You have everything from uh, the, the Persians to memoirs of the seafaring life, etc. Fortune magazines, older fortunes. Um, here's uh, William L. Elkins collection, part one and part two. Um, good stuff in there, all those pictures and photographs. As I said, the collection of Rolling Stones from uh, the 70s. Stevie Wonder, more maps. And across the bottom, I'm not even gonna look into here, but there's box lots of, of interesting uh, books around there. Uh, let me continue on this. Uh, th there's a whole bunch of books on those shelves right here. So this is, uh, as you can see, more and more books. If you're into books, it's definitely worth coming to take a look. Uh, because there's even more stuff around this corner that's better. Here's some, uh, here's some older leather bounds. This one's in a little bit worse condition. Worse condition. It's a the history of New Jersey, 1765. Uh, this one is the 1695 Philadelphia from its first settlement. Dubois, America. All these reference books on uh, bronzes and glassware and collectible toys and. Uh, you name it, Irish houses and castles. Back here you have some book sets. Michelangelo. You have this book right here, this set of books right here, which is, uh, can't even make it out from this angle. University of Pennsylvania something. Some good old large, large format books. Then you have all the Franklin heirloom books right here in leather. So you have like uh, seven or eight shelves of the Franklin uh, leather bound books right here. Usually good for at least 10, 10, 20, 30 a piece, depending. A uh, good lot of art books right here. And then you have this whole table. I'll just walk up around it real quick. As you can see, there's books. You'll find some good stuff. There's these little religious books. You have uh, books on antiques and art all the way across the back. 
All right, if you stay with me this long, I'm only, I've only taken me five minutes to go through all the books, but it's going to take us a couple hours probably to sell them all. Uh, let me walk through the books that are going to be selling in the catalog. Now, these items are all uh, listed and described on our website in the catalog, and they start at about lot 400, which is going to be a little bit later on in the day, probably closer to 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Um, depending on how fast we sell, but there's a lot of good leather bounds. There's history of Scotland. There's early books. There's um, atlases and maps. There's hummingbird books, art books. There's old, early Bibles. There's more atlases. Uh, picturesque uh, Philadelphia or picturesque America. Look at that great set right there, all leather bound. You have signed things by. Uh, what's that one by Eisenhower and this one is signed by Nixon you have uh, Jamie Wyatt signed book over here you have more books and books and books uh, I'm not going to de describe them all because they're in the catalog coming down this way you have books on space books on slavery books on uh, these are Thackeray's works a very nice set of these all leather bound there's a set of 22 volumes and in, in very good shape uh, and then we have uh, some more of these. Um, these are the, what press are they? The, uh, um, yeah, the e Easton Press. Yeah, so we're selling them in stacks of 10 or 12. So you have the Easton Press leather bound books. You have the uh, early copy of Robinson Crusoe in there. That's right here. You have the uh, five, shel five foot shelf of Harvard Classics. And then you have a whole bunch of 1950, 1951 Bowman baseball cards. So that's about it. Come by on Monday for preview. Uh, everything will be open from 12 to 6 to take a look at what there is. You can ch also check back all day on Tuesday. We open at 9 in the morning and uh, the books won't sell until later on in the day. So uh, just giving you a good look at what else is in the building. But it's going to be a neat auction on Tuesday, May 22nd. And uh, remember to subscribe to our, our YouTube channel and uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and uh, we'll see you at the auction. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.